Hello everyone. Here's where we get up close and personal and then we get further away because this camera, I keep telling you, I wish I had a remote for it. So let me push it and hopefully I'm not going to push it off the table. Okay, um, so, hi everyone, it's Scrap Lady here. Um, after all that, I have a um, couple of hauls. I have a dumpster dive haul, and I have a thrift store haul, and I have a Michaels haul. So we'll start with the dumpster dive. Um, I didn't do very much. Regret going. Um, not because I didn't get anything. I did get some good stuff. Uh, but because um, I'm feeling really horrible today. And I didn't spend much time um, in the dumpster. Uh, Ten minutes max. And I went to two different ones. Um, but maybe just being out in the cold wasn't... I don't know. Um, anyways, I have a doctor's appointment later on this week, so, um, it's pretty much bed rest for me. Uh, and I had a busy weekend, a great weekend, but a busy weekend. So, perhaps, a combination of everything. Um, I slept a good part of the day yesterday, I slept pretty much all day today. Um, so, anyways, um... I'm not feeling as bad, but I'm just not feeling good. So, I got um, a box. It was the display box of the Jelly Belly um, candy canes. They are watermelon, tutti frutti, and blueberry, and there was 15 boxes in the box. So that was pretty cool. Um, try to stick to one store, and then I'll get to the other store. So I got, what I did was I just grabbed a bag, I didn't, I didn't have my car, I didn't have my headlamp, um, I was with Jack, and we had his car, and so um, I just saw a bag that had a lot of stuff in it, and I just grabbed that bag plus the uh, candy canes, so, um, but I got quite a few things out of the bag, a big bag that I got, um, some of it I didn't bring in because it was like, um, floral things and stems and things like that. Um, not really floral, but just like the the <clears throat> bamboo type, you know, just plain stems and things like that. So I didn't bring all that in. But, <coughs> excuse me. Um, these, I love. The noise in the background is my granddaughter. I'm not sure what she's doing. Um, but She's playing an instrument of some sort. These are awesome because they actually have the, the plastic daisies on them. Um, so, uh, there's my granddaughter coming closer. I don't know what she's playing. What are you doing, honey? What do you got? I'm, do I'm recording a video. You want to come show me what, you, what you're doing? Come around this way, honey, where I can see you. This is my granddaughter. And maybe we can get her in the picture. Oh, is that like a little recorder thing? <laughs> Say hi, everyone. Hi, everybody. Hasn't she grown? A lot. She has grown a lot, yes. So, okay. That's very nice. Um, so I got two of those, and I love the plastic, uh, <laughs> we're going to be serenading. She's going to go upstairs and play for her grandfather. The, the plastic daisies and whatnot, I pulled those off. Um, very cute. So I got a couple of those. I got, this is a piece of garland, and it has other little, um, blingy things that I take off. The flowers are really pretty, too. I could pop off the flowers. Um, they're very pretty. So I could pop off the flowers and use those on a on a card or a layout or something. Um, and I got this stuff, which is very interesting. Um, it's double-sided like this, and it has a hole in the end. But it is um, quite interesting. It's 
dimensional. It's got like all kinds of sequins and beads and stuff on it. And it came in a roll like this. And again, I could use this for media, some kind of multimedia thing. Multimedia? No, that's not the word. Mixed media. Let's try that. Um, anyway, so I got that. Um, I got some pretty flowers. Very pretty. And they're wrapped with raffia. And they they don't have a... No, do this, this one? Oh yeah, this one was ripped off. I think these are the newer ones. The tags was ripped tag was ripped off. Um, this is a purple tag. Floral signatures, I think, or something. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and I've got a couple more little pink flowers. Which are very pretty also. And uh, um, and then this is a tropical flower thing. I got oh, it's messed up. <coughs> Sorry if I'm coughing a little. Um, this is lace, I mean satin ribbon. This is really stuck. Oh, there it is. It's stuck on the bottom here. Okay. Um, <coughs> it's all coming unrolled. But it's satin and it's leopard print. So that's really cool. This is Valentine ribbon, which they probably used for um, something floral in the floral department, but it's white with little red trim on it because it's not a full roll. And I got this other Valentine ribbon that I would say is a full roll, which is very pretty. And then I got several of these, which are cool. Um, different sizes, little ones, mainly this size. Uh, another one here, and then I got one like this, which is cute. And then um, this one looks like it's like wrapped, which is awesome. And I got this is actually really beautiful. This is a mask. It's lopsided. But um, it's hard. It's not a kid's mask. It's a really, really pretty, pretty mask. So, I um, got that. I got a burlap flower on a clip which is very cute. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, I got several, uh, well, okay, this is floral tape, black floral tape. And um, sorry for the noise in the background. It's my husband and Andrea. Okay, I got this, which I don't know what collection it's from. I haven't seen it, but then again, I haven't really looked at the new stuff. It's very heavy, and um, so it's uh, to put a flower in. You know, you probably just put a pot in there. Small plant. Here she comes, going back downstairs, serenading us. Um, so I like that a lot. And I got this big vase, which is actually for a, um, it had the paperwork in it, I don't know what I did with it, it doesn't matter, it's for a betta fish, so you can put like um, a um, plant, um, a spider, like a spider plant in here, and the roots just, you know, take off on the water, and then you put the, um, um, betta fish in here and uh, <coughs> or you could just use it as a base whichever um, and then that's on something I got okay I got some let me show you this 
This is a flameless candle. It does light up. Um, Andrea, mm -hmm. try to video, okay? I got these little lights. Um, I'm not really sure what you use them for, but if you press on the bottom, they light up. So I got four of those. Two of them light up, the other two don't. Um, and I got some Arty Cake stuff. Um, very cool. I don't, honestly, this one, oh, it looks like there was made two more in there. They're probably in here. But um, very, very pretty. Arty Cake stuff. which I was very thrilled about and I got this looks like a little uh, chandelier very cute this one <clears throat> has uh, different kinds of things hanging from it very cute and this is a thimble with a thing in there. I don't know if somebody made that or what the deal is, but that's pretty cool. And then I got a couple of these, just little couple of those. And then I got some, oh, this one, which is a crown. I'm just going to continue to play that thing out, just let you know that. So, it's interesting because it, it hangs from here, but I think that obviously the crown is like that. The chain's hanging from it, which is really, really cool. Then I got some stick pins, and I got two of these like crown stick pins, and two fleur de lis stick pins. Very cute. Um, okay, so that's that. Let me just stick all this stuff back in here so I can <clears throat> move it. And just toss it in there. Um, okay, and then this uh, last thing from that store, Michael's obviously. Um, <clears throat> was quite interesting. Just put this here. Okay. Um, this is a, well, I got a whole bunch of pieces of burlap. Let's just, and some twine. Um, different sized pieces of burlap. Different kinds of burlap. It's always good to have burlap. If I don't use it, I'll give it to uh, my ex-husband's aunt, who uses it a lot. Um, I'm just going to get rid of this bag because it's just a pain. Um, so, I got this box that's not so neatly, but covered in burlap. Um, it's just a, just a box. Nothing special about it. But inside... I'm going to try to show you like this, so you can see all the Easter eggs, and then there's also tons of shells. Okay, I counted about, <clears throat> I think, 35 Easter eggs, varying colors. They're actually beautiful Easter eggs. Very, very pretty. Um, 
different sizes, different colors. So I got a lot of those. Like I said, about 35 I counted. And then different kinds of shells. Small little ones. Um, you know, little ones, different the package of shells that they have. You know, they shut they sell packages of shells. I guess they broke open. So, um, I don't know why they're all in here, but what the significance of um, covering the box with the burlap was, I have no idea if the, if the eggs were even supposed to be in there, if they just threw them away that way. I don't even know. It's not covered very nicely, so it, I don't think it could have been really for some kind of display. I don't know. Um, so anyways, that was Michael's, and then I went to... Staples, and I got, I thought this was a fan, but it's a ceramic oscillating heater. Don't know if it works. The box was wet because it was had been snowed on, but it's all packed in there. Um, I haven't taken it out yet to see what the deal is. Um, yeah. If it's broken, it's going to be really broken. Right? Um, anyways, and then I got these um, Skull Candy Supreme Sound Merge headphones and um, microphone. Um, you can see it better out of the box. They have a skull on it. So, anyways, got that. <clears throat> don't know. Looks like it's perfectly sealed. So. And then I got these uh, audio player to stereo cables. They have um, these kind of ends on them. So I'll give those to Jack, obviously, because he's the cable guy. <laughs> and then I got these markers. Dead look. Sted, Stedtler, Stedtler. Um, very nice markers. Um, I tested them out and they work very fine. They're Tri Plus Color Fiber Tip Pens, it says. And there's 20 of them. So that was my dumpster haul. Um, and. Um, Next, I will do my Michaels haul. I just got stuff on clearance. I was looking to use my 25% off coupon, but I got everything on clearance, so I didn't use that. So I have one of these, but I got another one because I'm just, you know, um, crazy over Smashbooks like I am over uh, Angry Birds. Um, so uh, this was $3.99, so I did get that, and I do have, this one is the Tasty Style, and um, I, I did buy one, I broke down and bought one at um, TJ Maxx a while back for $5.99, but it's all food related, so um, I think I'm going to like kind of um, start keeping like recipe, uh, recipe, yeah recipes too, but um, <laughs> Could could do favorite recipes and stuff in one of them, and then restaurants in the other one. Um, so I might do stuff like that. Um, but so it's pretty cool. Um, of course, I could do one just devoted to all the food we eat on our trips. <laughs> um, so that was a good deal for three ninety nine. Then I got, these are, it's the um, color catcher, you spray inside the box, you, it opens up and, and works really well, I have one, um, but these were $2.99 for two of them. I got these when I was, um, I also got them when I was on my uh, big trip, and I was with Lori, and I gave her one and I kept the other one, so now I have two more. Um, I also bought, I've been wanting more Heidi Swap color shine. I'm going to try to um, stick to one or two spray mists brands that I like 
and the same thing with my ink pads. I think I'm going to go through my ink pads and just kind of dwindle down and get um, just one or two different brands that I can re-ink and just stick with that. I have, you know, I've gotten a lot on Craigslist and things like that. I haven't bought many new ink pads um, except for the Tim Holtz and I only, got, only gotten those when they've been super sales on Amazon and things like that. And um, so anyways, um, I did buy some from Oh My Cra oh my Crafts. Yeah, oh gosh, not going to buy any from there again. Um, they were $2 a piece, so that was a really good deal at the time. Of course, it took me like almost a year to get them. <laughs> um, anyways, so I'm going to stick with just a couple. Like, But the Tim Holtz Distress Pads are really for... They're not for regular stamping. They don't work as well for regular stamping. So um, I am going to try to pick out... Um, I have some close to my heart stuff because you know I was a close to my heart consultant and I got those for free and I have which are very nice ink pads and I have some um, Stampin' Up ink pads that are old the old ones so I'm gonna pick probably one of those two and um, and get rid of all the rest of my ink pads that don't work very well anyways I'm like always like I get like 20 greens and I stamp oh that's not good stamp oh, that's not good you know so I just gonna um I bought a whole bunch of them on Craigslist one time, probably like 50 stamp pads, and uh, for like, I don't know, 20 bucks or something really cheap. So the same thing with my color. I do make my own color uh, mist, which is okay if you want to use it. Like when I made those flowers, these are the flowers that I made. I'm going way off track here, but these are the roses that I made out of the coffee filters for... Um, Valentine's for when we went to our thing on Friday and um, I was going to try to put floral tape on them but if they're very easy to make and there's a tutorial this uh, coffee filter f roses on um, a tutorial on YouTube and my problem was that the bottom of it was all you know open they c I couldn't punch you know pinch them together to make it come narrow to be able to wrap because there's a big round spot compared to the little wire and I couldn't wrap the floral tape around it to cover up that bottom so um, Andrea and I came up with the idea of just cutting circles green circles and just putting it on there and it looks a little bit leafy I was going to cut out leaves but it was just too much work and I didn't have enough time so we just did that but the and I spray misted these so, um, and I used eyeshadow and alcohol to make my own spray mist, and those worked very, very well. And I used up, you know, pretty much all of what I had made because you got to spray them a lot. And um, so these were the, um, you know, pre-made ones that I did. So I will make them if I'm doing a specific project like that that I, you know, making like a lot of them, um, but um, otherwise I think that I'm going to stick to, I have some Tattered Angels and I have some, um, now I have some more um, Color Shine, so this is the bronzer, I'm sorry, and um, this is the tinsel, and these were $3.99 each, that's why I bought them. Um, doesn't seem like Heidi Swap stuff goes on sale very much. So, <clears throat> um, uh, they're regular $5.99, so I figured that was a good deal, and, um, so, is that all I bought at Michael's? Yeah, that's all I got at Michael's, so, those were the, the Michael's deals. And, um, then the thrift store deals. So, I was looking at books, and I found some scrapbooking books that had some really nice layouts in them and um, so it's really nice to have references and rather than going online I like looking at books better and so anyways um, it said the price of the books were um, if the the original price of the book was over eight dollars they were two ninety nine if it was under eight dollars the books were a dollar ninety nine and so 
these were all 19 regular 19.99 and up and and whatever um 12.99 one of them 19.99 but anyways um so i expected to pay 2.99 you buy uh four books and you get one free so i said three you know 12 dollars for five books and they're um again they're big you know this is a good size it's a nice book it has a lot of pages a lot of pictures um got this one I love this one because it does actually have some really, really good ideas on making your own. It call it's called making memory books and journals, so it has some really different, unique ideas, and even for boxes and things like that. Um, so I loved that one, and then I loved this Christmas card one. It has some very unique ideas. Same thing for Christmas cards and tags and stuff. Um, really, really cool. Um, ideas and so anyways I picked out my five books and um, I brought them up to the register and I said you know so these are buy four get one free right and she said yep so she rang the four of them up at a dollar ninety nine each <laughs> so I got the five books for eight dollars so that was pretty good oh and I just saw one more thing that I got from the dumpster that I forgot to it was underneath the books I got three of these uh, canvas things Artist Loft canvas sealed in the package. So at the thrift store, I also got came in, this came together in the package. Here we go. And this was a dollar ninety nine, and I got ten of these really pretty organza bags to put little goodies in and do a giveaway, which I am going to be having a giveaway. Um, I have over 600 subscribers, which is wow. But I'll be announcing that soon. I need to clean up my stuff and figure out what I have to give away before. And as I clean up, I'm going to do some giveaway boxes, put them aside. But I have a really good idea for my challenge giveaway thing, which I'm not going to talk about now. Anyways, so the, for $1.99, I got the 10 organza bags. These are... Um, they're called Faber Ties, but they're for baby, and they have little purplish ribbons with um, um, I'll just open it up with pacifiers on it. Um, really, really cute, and I figured I could use that in the mini album that I'm not working on. <laughs> but I will eventually finish. The baby's not due till the end of March. I just don't feel well enough to do anything. Um, so, these are, I just thought they would be cool because I could add them to, uh, so it's an elastic, and, yeah, so there's a, it's, it's like a, an elastic, and then it's a bow, and it has a little baby pacifier in the middle of it. Very cute, I thought. So, um, I got those in that bag. Again, that in, it's included in the dollar ninety nine bag. And then I got this really pretty ribbon, brand new, not open, um, just gorgeous ribbon. So that was a dollar ninety nine for that package. Then I got. Look at these crocheted flowers. These were ninety nine cents for this whole bag of crocheted flowers. I'm not going to show them all to you, but I'm going to count them this time. I didn't. I did the video last night. It came out too dark. It's a double layered one. Some little ones. So I got. Oh, look at this nice big one. This one's cool. It has like actual petals. Look at this one. Three, twenty-four, twenty-five, five, six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, more than I thought, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four. 
little little big medium beautiful crocheted flowers so that was a great plan for 99 cents so um, I'm really psyched about that because they're really pretty someone did very very well with these um, and I appreciate them very much especially for 99 cents and uh, you know like I said someone's a good that's one more thing I should learn how to do but I can't even think beyond getting through this video right now <laughs> <laughs> and then I got found this interesting well okay let me show you these I got these P-Touch for our label maker there was three of them in the package for $4.99 two of them are, are totally sealed unopened one of them is open I don't know what the deal is with it but even if the two the one doesn't work and the two others do it's not a big deal so I got, again, there were three in there, uh, white on black and black on white, as far as the colors go. Then I was, I always like to go look at their jewelry section and stuff, and um, <clears throat> I found, you know, they had necklaces for like $4.99, because I like the beads on them. I always look at what kind of beading and what kind of things they have on them. So I got this package for $1.49, which I was like, all this, and I could buy one necklace with very few beads on it for $4.99. I think I'll take the $1.49 bag. They're bracelets. I didn't realize it's too, my hand is too fat for it, but the the pearls are gorgeous. And then they have these, um, you know, different colored ones in between. Probably not. It's really hard. There we go. And then this is so pretty. These beads are so pretty. They're purplish. And these are darker purple. If my daughter sees these, she's going to want them. But she's not going to see them. Oh, this one, the bead is... The one bead on it is cracked. But it doesn't matter if I don't use this one because the other ones are well worth it. Then I got this bag for 99 cents, and these have those wine um, things that you put on the bottom of your wine glass to indicate that it's yours. But these have um, flowers on them, and um, I just love the little flowers on them. They're uh, you know, hard. So I can take the flowers off and I can use those on different things. This is a rose. It has a leaf. But they're so cute. Now these are, there are six of them for 99 cents. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. A daisy. <laughs> and then this one. So really, really cute. So I was thrilled with those for 99 cents. Um, and then I also got a pair of pants. Because I went there because the clothing was half price off. Half price off. Half price. What do I get? One pair of pants and all the rest. That's not half price. Oh well. <clears throat> so, that's all I have to say for this evening. I think I've showed you everything. And um, I'm going to uh, upload this one again. The other one I didn't bother uploading because it was so dark. And then I'm going to go to bed. So, thanks for watching everyone, and um, I hope you have a great day, and I will, I'm trying to get up so I can, you know, reach way over and come in real close. Um, so, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great, great day. Bye-bye.